Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to play this thing from Curate. I'm L. And, um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da whatever that is, Emote. Artemis. Yeah. Nekomiko. Nekomiko. I have my chai tea. And we're going to play Nico Miko. Now, Nico Miko, we don't have anything here. Let's do the config stuff. I think text display all the way fast. Auto display a little bit. Just red text. Let's go to sound. Turn the background music all the way up. Background music? No. Okay, I don't know if this has like uh, multiple stuff or whatnot. I just know that there's an anime base off of this, and uh, certain particularly Puritan uh, websites don't particularly like the uh, new anime. The anime. Anywho, this is Nico Miko. Let's find out what it's about. It's a visual novel, by the way. Please enter your name. Uh, I think it's the thing with cat girls, so mm, what would be a good name for the main character? Maybe I could grab something from here from like, uh, um, I'm trying to think stuff that's got cat girls. Like there's Magical Meow Meow Taru Taru, um, Hyper Police is pretty good. I'm trying to think of other stuff that's got cat girls in it. Well, Monster, Mus Monster Musume kind of does. Eh, you know what? I'm going to give this character... Uh, uh, i try to think of a good one. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to give this character a terrible name. Shinji. No. Oh, wait. Ah, is this a... Uh, no. Please enter your name. Okay, let's give him a name. This is the Sexy Adventures of Wario. That sounds right, right? No, actually, no. I'm going to name the character after myself. Yep, there we go. My name's that. That seems work. That seems fine. Let's see how terrible this is. Is this a fill up? We don't know. Anyways, uh, how do I just, how can I tell which one I'm selecting? Oh, so this joystick doesn't do anything, but the D-pad does. Yes. <sighs> one midday in a season, neither hot nor cold. I was walking by the busy Akahabara station Denkaige exit. Denki... Stinky guy exit with my shoulders slumped. The sweet invitations from the maid cafes that usually is fun to hear annoyed me today. This sucks. Today I will be notified of the results of the job interview I had last month. Hey look, there's a mega? Sega, yeah. Uh, looking at some of the little stuff over there, there's a mega building. I like Sega, they're pretty cool. Hey, Resident Devil Universe. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. DVD, DVD, DVD. I'm reading the signs. Tax free shop. Huh. To be honest, I was confident I had a great conversation with the interviewer on recent hot topics such as anime, games, and web novels. Felt like a positive. Oh, God. I had been screened out of the application process by dozens of companies, and when I did make it to the interview stage, I was too nervous to express my selling points. However, this company, I was able to express myself. I was almost certain I passed. I received my rejection notice from the company. The email ended with the usual, We pray for your future success. Yeah. 
That sucks. I couldn't quite accept this fact, so I headed toward my girlfriend's house. That's right, even a guy like me has a girlfriend, I was miraculously able to get to know her through a mutual friend. She is kind, always kind, even to a guy like me. She's a sweet girl. I want her to heal my wounded heart from the rejection notice, but after telling her I received the rejection notice, she told me she wanted to break up because she was worried about her future. Wow. And I am now walking home from this breakup. I've been down my luck lately. Like by a game, it's broken. But by a light novel, the pages are out of order. Ramen shops I went to for the first time all tasted horrible. And to top it all, this happened today. There must be a curse on me if I am this unlucky. Also, what's up with this font? There's a lot of just squished together words. If that's the case, I think I should be exorcised. Exorcised? I don't know. Exorcised. 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 Sizzed. If I am this unlucky, I feel like relying on something supernatural. <sighs> After a big sigh, I walked toward the more quiet section of town, an area where there are more simple buildings, unlike the bustle of Akahabara Station. What? While I was walking with slumped shoulders, an odd thing caught my eye. A red Tory gate stood between the two buildings with a narrow pathway where maybe one person could walk through. That's never a good omen, to be perfectly honest. I mean, you walk through those, you're in another world. Also, Let's be honest here, when you see those, I kind of expect there to be somebody at the other end selling mogwai. Maybe I'll drop by for a little bit. I felt something like fate after just thinking I needed to drive out my bad luck because I passed through Red Tory Gate. I saw weathering with you. This is not good. This is how you end up in the sky. Anyways, bumping my shoulders against the walls of the narrow pathway, I threaded my way through and came to an open space. What caught my attention were the two statues of cats facing each other in front of the main shrine. There's also a smaller shrine further back. Whoa, this shrine is really run down. Throw a quarter in there, ring the little thing, ring the bell. It's hard to know how long it had been, had not been maintained, but the offering box had a hole in it and the shrine looked like it was going to fall apart at any time. I don't think this is really going to answer any prayers, but what the heck. Okay. I took out a 5 yen coin from my wallet and threw it in the offering box. I closed my eyes and clapped my hands twice. Wait. It's immersive. Boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. Anyways, throw. Oh, yeah, there's voice acting. Finally, a customer. Yes, get closer. Actually, is this one of those ones that's um like censored on the Nintendo Switch because of what it actually is about? Oh, there's multiple endings. Cool. Um, image. Oh, 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 oh. Yup. Yeah, it is. Okie dokie. It's one of those games. Actually, everything we've been playing this week is one of those games. <laughs> oh, no. So, uh, on the Switch, this is censored. There's uncensored patches out there and stuff. So, this is another one of those. Mm. Yes, indeed. But you think it's all right to get this close? Suddenly, I heard two voices in the direction where no one was there. Eh? After making a foolish sound, I opened my eyes and looked toward the direction of two voices. Oh no, they're moving! They're, that's a little creepy there, they're watching me. There were two beautiful girls in shrine maiden clothes standing behind the offering box. One girl had shoulder length bright hair and looked like an energetic girl. And the other was a shy looking girl with long straight hair and looked at me fearfully. Okay. Oh, um, let's go back. Um. Whoa, that was interesting. No. I don't know what these buttons do. Let me hit start real quick. Oh no, it's auto! No, no. I need to go back. Okay, I guess I'm kind of cosplay as the two girls have cat ears and a tail. Don't be afraid, Kaidi chan I'm sure he's a good person. Yes, yes indeed. You're a good judge of character, Yami-san. I'm sure it'll be alright. 
a girl called Kaidi, 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 Kaidi. I don't know how to pronounce that. Kaide, Kaide, Kaide. Yeah, I think it's probably Kaide. Yeah, Kaide glanced at me and agreed a little strongly with the girl called Ayami. Said. I see. Anyone who gives money offerings with a serious face can't serious face can't be a bad person. Are you are you sure? I suppose so. They're 3D models. Yeah. That's kinda creeping me out with their movement though. Sure, after Ayami's claim, Kaide didn't Kaide. Kaide Kaide? 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 Kaide. Kaide? Kaide. Kaide. How do how does one actually pronounce this? Uh, let me check. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm liking this music that's playing here. Um, how does one pronounce Kaide? Pronounce pronunciation. How to pronounce? Kaidai. Kai. So, ki as in K as in ki. I as in lie. D as in do. I or A as in pain. Kaidai. Kaidai. Pain. Pain. Kaidai. Kaidai. Okay. So, Kaidai didn't seem to quite agree, but couldn't really deny it until it's her neck and doubt. Oni-san! Nice to meet you. I'm Ayami. Nice to meet you. Ayami looked at me and introduced herself cheerfully. I am Kaide. Kaidai. Day. I. The last part's I is in pain. Pain. Kaidai. I'm sorry, this girl is well, a very cheerful girl. Following Ayami's lead. Kaide. Ki is in ki. I is in lie. D is in do. Do kai doi I and p I p as in as in pain kai kai day. So first name it means maple. And uh, okay, I got it better here now. Ayami cheered, carefully said her name and kai day. Shyly following her, the two seem to have different personalities. I see. That's very polite of you. Nice to meet you. I followed cheerfully Ayami's lead and returned her greeting. And after all, I didn't know who these two girls were. I'll come to think of it, she says it's been a while since I had a customer. If this is the case, it would be a daughter's a chief priest, even though the main shrine was in ruins and looked like it was not maintained, this was the highest possibility. Well, looking at the two, Ayami, who was staring at me, looked at me and moaned at me with her brows furrowed. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> By the way, you really, really smell something bad. Oh? Uh? Ah, uh, it seems like you're carrying a lot of bad luck. <laughs> Kaide, who had her, her head in who had her head in embarrassment, added to Ayami's burst outburst. What does Ayami mean? So Kaide is maple. What's Ayami? Ayami. I want to find out what that means. Ayami. Meaning. Huh. Iris. I understand. So that's how his way moment. Kaide is maple and Ayami is Iris. So no matter of fact, it is about to sit. What do you mean to say right now? Is something wrong? Did you say I'm loading and carrying a load of a lot of bad luck? How'd you know that? Curses are an occult type of kind of thing. They're saying this as if it really exists. It sounds like some solicitation to a religion. It's obvious we drive out bad luck and make people happy. We don't know whether people are carrying bad luck or not, then we won't be able to do our jobs. Really? Well, maybe these girls are the crazy type. They may be having fun with the situation using the shrine as their secret base. You don't believe me? In that case, let us show your po our powers. Not in this version. 
Kaide strongly pressed her point as if to keep the situation as real as possible. If you can show me, then I would definitely want to see it. What are they up to? It's easy. We drive out bad luck and give people good luck. And I have the power to also bring in money. Ayami-san attracts people, I attract money. They did have such powers though. Wouldn't this shrine be lit a little bit more cleaner? Well, I suppose I shouldn't say that. Alright, if it succeeds, I'll believe what you say. Let me go first. It sounds like she's trying to, like, poop. That's terrible. Yeah, I held her, held her head and nodded her head in acknowledgement. Imagine if people were going to come. Whoa, now I'm in some weird place. Ah, you there. Do you know which way it is to Akahabara Station? While I was doubting what they were thinking, one man came into the shrine. Ah, uh, just leave the shrine and turn left. Oh, I see. Thank you. The man left the shrine right away. Foo, right? Do you believe me now? Well, it could be just a coincidence, right? The timing is near perfect, but a lost person could have just possibly wandered into the shrine. Okay, my turn now. After saying that, Kaede then closed her eyes and started to moan like Yami, and then... Three 500 yen coins came falling down in front of me. Foo, well, do you believe me now? Whoa, did you see that jiggle just a moment ago? Rewind the video to check. No, just kidding. The three 500 yen coins, they could not have possibly have fallen from the sky. Crow like shiny objects may have possibly dropped the coins in front of me or not. However, two coincidences rogue and I happen often the power of these girls are real. I'm sorry I doubted you. I lowered my head and apologized to the girls. Please raise your head. That's right, just because you are slow doesn't mean you have to do that. Okay. I choked at those harsh words. It's been a while since we had a customer, so we are very happy. So we'll drive out your bad luck to express our happiness, not just because you came here. Really? What a blessing. Whoops. Almost dropped the thing out of here. It's good fortune to be able to visit the shrine today. Really? And while Ayami was jumping around happily, her ears moved. I raised my voice in surprise. Wait a minute. Didn't those cat ears just move right now? Well, what? These are my ears. Of course they can move. Uh, you may be a bit weak in the head. If that's the case, we'll have to fix that too. That's a bit too insulting, but anyway, are those cat ears real? Yes, we are originally cats. Oh no. Okay, don't get any weird ideas, Maya. Anyways, unbelievable. The dream of all otaku is in front of me, from my eyes. Real life cat ear girls. Am I dreaming? Did Elon Musk deliver? If you don't believe us, then touch them. See, they are real. And that's how you know this is a video game because no woman in real life really says that. Hey, <laughs> not normal, not normally. Anyways, Ayami took my words of disbelief literally and held out her head. My nose picked up the sweet smell of a girl and traveled directly to my brain, making me dizzy. Oh, right. I barely succeeded in keeping my wits as I stared at her ears. I could see the veins of the light shined on in her ears. The ears were soft and fluffy, real touch texture when I touched them. True, her ears were real. Oh. I like how disconnected their features are from their faces. It's weird. While her body wriggled, Ayami's eyes narrowed as her ears twitched. I I'm sorry. After hastily letting go, Ayami let out a deep breath and covered her ears where I had just touched them. <laughs> Too bleepy now? E yes. These two shrine mains are able to drive out bad luck and bring good luck in addition to having real cat ears. I know if I said this to anybody, nobody would believe me. Okay, we would now like to drive out the bad luck. After saying that, Kaide pulled Ayami into the ramshackle shrine. I may bring this and that over here. I know what to do. Get them preparing noisily from inside the main shrine. The noise subsided and the two emerged. Okay, preparation complete. Now, steady your breathing. If you relax, it'll soon be over. They're gonna kill him, take all his money. Two came to me carrying a stick with a white paper attached to it, often used in ceremonies. Like that little shaking thing at the bottom. Let's start. As Ayami said those words, the atmosphere of the two changed immediately. Hmm. 
That's actually some happy music. Pretty good. This is mystical. Those words fit well. It was spellbound by these two girls. This is because it's more of a dance than a ceremony to drive out my bad luck. Just then, I thought the two symmetric, sy symmetrically shook their wood sticks gracefully, slowly, and broadly. They jumped swiftly into the air. They moved in perfect symmetry and in perfect tune. Eliminate evil to protect the, uh, protect the world from devastation. Purify evil. To wait, is it okay to protect the world from devastation? To unite all people within our nations. From time to time, I could hear the girls speak something while they dance. Really, there's someone who doesn't exercise at all. How hard it was to do that. To prove that, the two girls' foreheads were dripping with sweat and sparkled when the sweat scattered. As the dance continued, Ayami's mystical features became softer and more relaxed. In contrast, Katie's features became more serious and dignified. When looking at the two girls' dance, my heavy shoulders seemed to get lighter. <laughs> Eliminate evil! <laughs> Purify evil! Whoosh. However, the dance did not seem to end. The two girls' faces started to ag agonize in fatigue from the long dance. A perfect synchronicity? Synchronicity start to crumble and their movements became clumsier. <laughs> and finally, they fell down through their knees in fatigue. Are you two all right? I'm sorry, we couldn't try about all your bad luck. Unbelievable, I didn't think you had this much bad luck in you. The two balled up their fists in frustration. Really? As for me, my shoulders felt a little lighter, and I was really grateful. That's right, you should be elated and happy. You should be wanting to skip merrily home right now. Even though you have a lot of bad luck, this is such an unsatisfactory conclusion. We are terribly sorry. Conclusion, not conclusion. Kaide dropped her head in severe disappointment, and I waved my hand and told them not to worry. It's okay. This is not the bad luck you're looking for. I've come to deliver some bad luck. Black Cat. That's an anime. Look it up. That's not true, thank you. I feel a little better since you drove out some of the bad luck. Well, let me excuse myself here. It seemed like there was some effect from it. The bad feeling I had before visiting the shrine was definitely gone. With this, there'll be no more trouble in my life from tomorrow. Wait a moment. We won't let you escape just yet. They are going to kill him. Two shrine maidens grabbed the sleeve of my clothes as I was about to leave. What? Let's bring us a good luck. We will damage our good name if we let you go home now. That's right. We will not be satisfied until you are happy. So take us home with you. This is a good idea. Good job, Kaidi chan What? With Kaidi's words, my thoughts were thrown into a pit of confusion. Uh, why did it come to this? How does not being able to drive up my bad luck have anything to do with them coming to my house? Don't you understand? Kaidi looked at me in disbelief. Not at all. Why are you looking at me like that? I trembled as I somehow answered their question. I see. In that case, let me explain. As explained earlier, we bring good luck. So they're going to hang out around my house and just eat my food and and then, like, just be annoying? Yep. Saying this is a bit embarrassing, but the effects are very strong. If we lived in your house... We would be able to drive out all of your bad luck, no matter how much bad luck you seem to have. And since we were able to go outside, we would like to have some fun, too. Kaido shut the cheerfully speaking Ayami's mouth and took her to a place a little way from me. Ayami-san, don't give away our real intentions. I'm sorry, I should have kept my mouth shut. To return from the secret meeting, which I heard everything, I will pretend not to have heard them. Ahem, how about it? If you let us stay at your house, you're sure that your life would be better. It can never be a bad thing for you. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna have to buy more ramen and, and uh, capricorns. Pro tip. Keep chocolate. Keep ice cream. Keep popsicles. Keep capricorns. Everyone loves capricorns. Oh my god. Yeah, anyways, how about it? If you let us stay at your house, we were sure that your life would be better. It can never be a bad thing for you. Thinking a bit about Kaide's question, I drew to a conclusion. You know... I'm just gonna say yeah. 
I guess there's no reason to refuse. There's no girlfriend who's can complain about two girls saving over, at least until yesterday. More than anything, Kaede says she can completely drive out my bad luck. If my bad luck is driven out, there'll be a bright future for my dead end life. This is not a bad deal for me. No, they're going to crash on your couch for months. Alright, if you insist so much, come to my house. Fantastic! You're paying part of the rent. You also have made a good decision for yourself. Whoa, wait. Two seem to be overwhelmed by acceptance. Hug with great force. Whether they're not they're cautious or they just didn't care, they pressed those soft things against me. I instinctively looked at my surroundings. If someone saw this and misunderstood the situation, my life was over. Nobody's looking right. My words were groundless and I put my hand on my chest in relief. Why your chest? And the decision has been made. Let's go. It's like, the contract has been signed. <laughs> These cat girls are going to kill and eat them at some point. I wonder if it is that type of one. Does this have bad endings? Let me check. Doot, 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 doot. Okay. Oh, there's multiple stuff. Hmm. Oh, wait, there's things. So there's multiple endings. Yeah, there's multiple endings in this, and it actually seems to be pretty short. Bad end. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Four different endings. You'll be able to unlock CGs as well. The guide assumes that you have the free adult patch, uh, which I'm not going to. And I wouldn't be streaming this or, like, videotaping this if I did. Anyways, this should have been made. Let's go. Yes, indeed. It'll soon be dark unless we hurry. Two clung onto me as we ex exited the shrine and pushed me back to hurry on. Okay. Go back. How do I... No. Oh, wait, here it is. Um, show save screen, show load screen. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and save. We have a bunch of save files. Okay, let's save. We saved. Anyways, this is, um, Nico Miko. I don't know where it's gonna go. But there's multiple chapters and things, so why not? Multiple endings. I'm guessing you end up with a uh, one or both of the or none of the uh, main two characters, and we'll see where that goes. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below of games like this. I'm like, uh, whatever. The music's interesting. The art is interesting. We'll find out where this goes at some later date. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that thumbs up, that share button, that subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.